Welcome to this Alan Talks Tech video. If you'd like additional information on my technology videos, please visit my wiki at alantesswiki.pbworks.com. So let's take a look at MuMIMO and 802.11ac. MuMIMO stands for multi-user, multiple in, multiple out, or MuMIMO for short. MuMIMO helps support larger groups of users. It's going to basically increase the spectral efficiency within um, an, a Wi-Fi network. This is going to give us better support for high concentrations of users in, for example, auditoriums, classrooms, and at sporting events. 802.11ac Wave 2 will support 4x4, but potentially up to 8x8 configurations. This means Potentially, we will be able to support up to eight spatial streams on the same channel or same frequency. Each one of these spatial streams can carry an independent stream of data to a different user, all residing, though, within the same channel or same frequency, thus greatly enhancing the spectral efficiency of an access point. Let's take a look at a standard radio transmitter or single user system. On the left, we've got the access point. On the right, a mobile station. Each system, a single transceiver, single radio, single receiver. As you can see, the access point is streaming data from left to right with one spatial stream. Much more efficiency, though, within the spectrum can be achieved by doubling the number of spatial streams. So let's take a look at how we can achieve this. Single user MIMO has been on the market for a number of years and here's a very simple example of how it operates. The access point on the left has got two transceivers, two radios, two antennas and with this access point we can support basically two spatial streams. We can double the data rate within a particular um, uh, frequency but the system is really acting like a hub. So what do I mean by that? Well let's take a look. Here we're transmitting data to the laptop. Now we're transmitting data to the tablet. Each system has to take its turn. We can't transmit in parallel to both the tablet and to the uh, laptop. We have, though, greatly enhanced the spectral efficiency by doubling the data rate. Of course, larger numbers of users can be supported within the system, but they're all going to have to take their turn. So we could have three, four, five, six, many users, but you're going to have to do a round robin. Just like a hub, each system is going to have to take its turn. With multi-user, multiple in, multiple out, or mu MIMO, the quality of experience for the users can be greatly enhanced. With a 4x4 system, uh, a mu MIMO can support up to four users simultaneously. An 8x8 mu MIMO system could support up to eight users simultaneously. All spatial streams use the same channel simultaneously, so much better spectral efficiency can be achieved. We can act much more like a switch than a hub. Um, again, this is going to help increase the efficiency of the spectrum usage. So how is this going to operate? Well, here, for example, we have two smartphones, a tablet and a laptop, and they're all receiving data in parallel from the access point on the left. The access point in this case has four radio transceivers. Each transceiver is transmitting on the same channel or same frequency. Each one of these transmitters is transmitting in parallel, but four different streams of data. By using some very clever DSPs, the receivers on each one of the remote stations can separate out these signals and pull the data uh, back in. Eventually, up to eight channels or eight spatial streams will be supported in parallel, again leading to much better spectral efficiency. Now, of course, we're not limited in this example to just four users. You could have many other uh, users supported by the system. Um, but the big benefit here is we can basically support four users in parallel at any instant in time and do our round robin in effect much more efficiently, much more quickly. Eight hundred two eleven n first introduced the idea of beamforming and MIMO into the Wi-Fi environment, um, but 
basically beamforming wasn't really used uh, very effectively with the end standard as there were a number of different proprietary systems introduced uh, which really not which, which really never gained wide market acceptance so theoretically it was possible with beamforming uh, to support for example multiple users we could support user number one number two and number three we could also use MIMO technology as well to increase the spectral efficiency. But as I said, a combination of the two never really occurred. And again, remember 802.11n was really running very akin to a hub architecture. With 802.11ac and the introduction of multi-user MIMO, combined with beamforming, much more flexibility is being introduced. Mu MIMO can actually combine beamforming and null steering to support multiple clients in parallel. So we can have, for example, with an 8x8 array, up to four users simultaneously supported with transmit beamforming. However, the access point will require this 8x8 array. It's going to be some time before we see this, these types of systems being deployed into the market, but initially we will see access points supporting 4x4 arrays, which will enable us to support up to four users in parallel. With a 4x4 array, it won't be possible to have four users supported in parallel with beamforming, but I believe initially this is going to be the most efficient use of the Mu MIMO um, technology introduction. Thank you for watching this Alan Talks Tech video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get more information on my technology videos with additional material, you can visit my wiki at alantesswiki.pbworks.com. Once again, thanks for viewing.